a little bit because usually you have some people in the poor sightline seats, and I see they're all empty there. Are they? Yes. Where? Right up there. See that Let's big mass of green there? Oh, oh, wait a minute. That's a barricade. Yeah, that's a barricade. Right. And that's no, a, actually, and that's it's an a aisle house. for people to walk. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. I'm really glad you did that thing about the gym because um, my makeup artist, yeah. Brad, he sees you at the gym all the time, and yeah. I say to him, why don't you go up to him and tell him you're a friend of mine? Because you know he was on the show. Yeah. But Brett says, oh, I, I wouldn't want to because I, I don't think he wants to be bothered. Correct, Brett. Yeah. He's a smart, that's a smart I, maker. And I never thought that Brett was a more perceptive, you know, people person than me because yeah. I pride myself being a people person. Yeah. And I thought that you would always want to talk to somebody that was associated with me. But now yeah. from listening to your opening spiel, yeah. obviously not. Yeah. I didn't know. I don't know that he's a... Remember when Brett was on the show and he said he saw you at the gym all the time and you got really frightened. Who? Like maybe he was a stalker or something. He was on the show? No, he was on the show with me. He was playing with my hair. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. yeah. I, I forget. Mm -hmm. I forget. I have an interview. And then this, then when you were doing your thing, I was a little perturbed because I haven't been on the show for a while. Yeah, and usually, why not? Craig comes... Why not? Well, I can explain that. It didn't have anything to do with me telling the producers she talks a lot. It had no, nothing to do with that. Usually, usually, Craig comes into my dressing room before the show oh, yeah. to sort of harass me a little bit and stare at himself in the mirror and fix yeah, his hair. Yeah, that's true. That's true. You did not do that this time. I was trying. I was d dimpling my collar before the show tonight. So but that's... then he came backstage just before I was about to go on. He says, what's the matter? You don't want to see me before the show? And then he touched me. His hands were icy cold. Where did, where did I do? I went Your like hands this? are icy cold. They're icy cold. You touched me backstage. All right, well, we'll get him warm. Up. All right. Well, yeah, before Mark Hoppus comes out, I'll warm up with Hoppus. How is the career going? How are people... You know, before I came out, you said I was very vivacious. You yeah. said I was a bundle of energy. A gorgeous bundle of energy. Yes, but I just want you to know that that stops right now. Because from now on, I have a new publicist. I'm yeah. going to be the sedate... You know, oh. the artistic, the silent, mysterious Jennifer Tilly. So it's being unveiled right oh, here on the Craig it. Kilburn Show. Oh, do people still mix you up with, uh, they don't still mix you up with your sister, do they? That Look at here, like I was talking about a metamorphosis in me, wherein I was going to rise like a chrysalis from my old former self. Stop me if I mispronounce chrysalis. All right. Okay. If I was going to rise from my old former self, yeah. and then you went to the first question on the sheet. I want to get to it because it's funny. It is. Yeah. Well, it could be. It's really funny. I don't remember. But well, you've already you've already botched your. Oh your... right. Yes. Yeah, so I already botched my whole. Sort yeah. Of... You're not sedate. You're no. just the same little vivacious yeah, bundle. Yeah. Just slap me around. Yeah, it's yeah. so great. I was gonna say uh, I do like yes. you're one of the best dressed women in Hollywood. Thank you. My you publicist take... made me take off my extremely tight outfit and made me changed to this outfit that is just moderately tight. Yeah. <laughs> he said, they said, you know what, that one's kind of loose, it's easy. They said, don't put on the super sexy dress for Craig because this is a late night show yeah. after all and people come on the show and they're really relaxed. So yeah. I wear this dress, it's a very relaxed I fit. think this is perfect. Thank perfect. you, thank yes. you. Thank you. But I have probably is dimpling a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> I hate when that happens. You look great. Thank you. How's yeah, people, Meg? People... How's Meg Tilly? Okay. I, I'm switching again. All right, people... We're doing this bit okay. no matter what. People people confuse me with my sister Meg, and I don't understand because we're really, really different. She is silent and mysterious and yeah. really... Right. Talented, did you say? No, did I? No. Talentless or no, talented? No, she's talented, talented. Talented, okay. Okay, which I am talented too. Right. But people are always coming up to me and they're saying... I loved you in The Big Chill, and I have to say, well, that was Meg. That was Meg. And they said, but you were so great in Agnes of God, and I have to say, that was Meg. Yeah. And so I figured it out. I have to say, the whole thing is getting me very agitated. We're, we've very done annoying. something for you. Yes. We've done something what for you. What have you done? It requires you not to talk, but we've done something right. for you. <laughs> I don't know. Can you do the freeze frame? Because I love freeze frame. We're going to You know that thing wherein I'm still talking, but you freeze frame my, my, myself, so yeah. it looks like I'm not yeah. moving anymore? Yeah. Because... Yeah. You don't have that kind of technical I, yeah, capacity yeah. at the show, do you? So, yes. we've done you a favor. We're sending a message to you, Craig, because you prepare these bits, and you have, like, things that are written to go with the story. So we I'm call supposed it entertainment. To tell. Entertainment. Yes. You, he's prepared. He, it might look like it's all off the cuff to you, but a lot of planning goes into this show. An excruciatingly amount your, of planning. In the planning. first couple of years, now I'm just coasting. Okay. But you know what, Craig? I've been watching you yeah. because I've been in Chicago where he comes on a lot earlier, and so it's possible to stay awake during the show. Yeah. I have to say, you're 
good. Thank you. You're very good. Thank you. You're very photogenic. Yeah. And yeah. And um. Yeah, finish. You have to have three and things. And there's nothing else That's bad it. That's at 11:30 oh, okay, okay. in Chicago. Do we need to talk about your project. Yes, please. Could we? Do we have to? Yes. What's it called? I'm doing a. Uh, I just wish you'd come just to talk to me. Do you really want to plug the? I'm doing a thing on Showtime. It's called Sister Mary Explains It All for You, and I have to plug. It's really Diane Keaton's movie, but she's in Toronto making yet another film, and I'm just here with nothing to do. Yeah. So I, I call this show a one-woman show with other people. Okay. So it's Diane Keaton's show, and I'm sort of in there, like behind Diane, sort of looking around, trying to find the camera. When you have a limited number of lines, yes. do you still force another lines? I can't imagine them holding you back. I, for, I force out extra lines, and then Marshall Brickman, and the director goes, stop, Jennifer, don't say that. And then he actually said to Am me, Am I allowed to do that? Uh, yes, you can. Right. <laughs> Stay right there. Yes. Stay, don't say anything. All right, are you going somewhere? We'll be right back with five questions with oh. Jennifer. Oh. Look out, baby. Oh. Oh. No, this is yours. This is yours. Wait, That's one? mine. Okay. Oh, do you need it? He tried to take my water. Oh. <laughs> Hi, Jennifer. Uh, you, you know, know what? You know, <laughs> anyways, <laughs> I, I was thinking about something. Remember. I was just remembering. <laughs> okay, you can talk first because you're the host. I just want to just, I just want to say, yes? shut up. Oh. <laughs> so we've known each other how long? Um, Like years. Years. Right. And I said years ago, right. I, I like, mm. she's beautiful, talented, but right. I like your voice, and I think you should do cartoon voices. Yes. And, and I, in fact. Yes. I'm actually doing cartoon voices now, but um, I always think, like, See, I think I'm tremendously versatile. Yes. Like, I just, I just did a movie where I played Luella Parsons, and Luella Parsons was very, very fat. Mm -hmm. And so I thought the whole time I was making the movie that I was tremendously fat. And um, I was just think, thought it, like, I'm really, really fat, I'm really, really fat. And then I just saw the movie, I'm not fat at all. Oh, I look exactly see, the same. See? And sometimes I play a character that's super tall, and I think, I am a tall Amazonian woman striding across the set. And then I see the movie, and I'm the same height as I always am. See? Yeah. So the thing so with cartoons, you, you're living in your own little world. I'm there. very, very you, versatile. You live in your own little world. Yeah, that's there. right, and it's lovely there. You should join me. I'm gonna <laughs> you get, should have some more self-delusion, Craig. I'm going to get a what? few lines in because, here. Because, Craig, you say things like, oh, I'm so good looking. Oh, I'm so intelligent. No one never... calls you on that because this is your show. So I've people never... don't say, no, Craig, actually, you're not that, I, you yeah. know, really what you think you are. They know they're like, yes, Craig, yeah. yes, hey, you're wonderful, you're Do fabulous. Do your cartoon voices okay, so, so we can play five questions, I go questions, into the right? cartoons, and I hate five questions. Yeah. So I'll go in the cartoon studio, and I'll say, fellas, if you don't like the voice I'm doing, let me know because I have lots of other okay. voices. You do a couple voices. Yeah. I want to hear two of them. Well, I have some voices like I say, I can talk in a really deep, husky voice like this, or I can talk in a really high, squeaky voice like this. <laughs> and they go... Those were identical. Those were identical. Well, that's what they say, Jennifer. All your voices sound exactly the same. You're not telling me something I don't know. Yeah. Can't yeah. you change it? Yes, I can. I can talk really, really, really low. Let me hear. I just did. <laughs> You're getting paid to do this cartoon work? Yes, and sometimes I can play really old women, like, okay, really old. <laughs> I think they just pay you. I think they just say, okay, just... Cut it, take it, let's pay her, let, so she'll leave. So, so anyway, Brett, my makeup artist, he was doing Merv Griffin the other day. You know yeah. Merv, that other talk show yeah. host. And Merv was complaining about the state of talk shows today. He said, oh, you know, these young people, that's my Merv Griffin yeah, part. Yeah, very good. These, <laughs> these young people today, they don't let conversations go on. They're always interrupted. Yeah. He goes, in the old days, people had stories. They're five minutes, seven minutes. Who cares? Today, they always have to cut to commercial. Yeah, yeah. But then he said... Then he said, bring it on. There's one guy, there's one Merv fella. likes me. Merv likes us. There's one fella I can't, I like. If you uh, say the wrong name, you're Chris off the show. Kill, kill. Right. And everyone said, in amazement, Craig Kilburn? Yeah. <laughs> and he said, yes. Him I like. He's loose. He's in the moment. <laughs> He had, this has nothing to do with you, but it's rather none amusing. Gonna, none of this is going to make the air, by the way. I don't care. Okay. Nobody stays awake to watch uh, okay. your show anyway, except in Chicago. Right. My, my public let me go. When can we play five questions? Los Angeles for the Lakers. Canada. Name, name one city that still has a team in the NBA playoffs. Uh, Chicago. Incorrect. Okay, five.
five questions. It's Listen. just to make me look stupid. No, okay. no. I have a suggestion whoa, for you whoa, when you have whoa. that celebrity yabo to make it more suspenseful. If you were part, yeah. look, listen, if you were part of a singing yes. pop duo, right. a singing pop, uh -huh. but you didn't right. actually sing, what would the duo be called? Tilly Vanilla. That is correct. Yeah, because I read her off of the Number three. Number three. We have comedy writers that write his bits for him. I have nobody writing my stuff. Nobody. You're kidding me. Nobody wrote this stuff. I thought you. I thought you and Brett worked on this. No. It was so many different levels and so many punchlines. Okay, this is why I hate five questions because all he does is insult me. Name a Broadway show I've never seen. Uh, The Producers, because you can't get tickets. I've seen it already. I saw it once. Yeah. Did you pay for your tickets? Incorrect. No. During the interview, ha have I been looking clothing. more at your eyes or your bosom during the interview? Ah! Bosoms. My bosoms? My bosoms. My bosoms? No, your eyes. Oh. Yeah. Okay, okay she is now... Okay. I hope she's going to tie... so annoyed. She's going to tie Kathy Ireland for one out of five. Okay, here we go. This is exciting. I'm right here for you. I'm what with you. What is it? Am I going to drink it? Is that a real beer? Can I guzzle? It's not because they took the label off yeah, of it. It's, it's right here. We just... We yeah, they just blacked out the label. We like, don't nobody want... knows what that is. <laughs> we we hey. didn't anticipate you doing that. Hey, I've been drinking in a dressing room. Can I room. guzzle? I'm not beer deprived. Can I guzzle this beer? Yeah, you can because it's not real beer. In one chug. Sure you can. But uh? don't spill it all over your dimply front. <laughs> Taste it. Okay, now you can't guzzle it in one chug because there's a piece missing. Yeah. <laughs> we'll give her one out of five for just participating. Nice to see you. Yeah, for Tilly, we'll be right back after this.